Hi everybody, welcome to Asharali and welcome to a video where we learn the Brahmari Pranayam. There are researchers that have shown that Brahmari Pranayam can help in three stages of COVID which is the prevention stage, the cure stage if you have COVID and the recovery stage. Now, I hope we don't reach to the other two stages, but if you still do, this pranayam can help relax your mind, relax your body, and just overall help in the healing process. There are certain studies that state that doing this pranayam can help uh, generate nitric oxide in the body. Well, we are still going to wait for more concrete researches and results before we establish that. But at the same time, I feel that if you can practice Brahmari Pranayam every day, it is definitely going to help you boost your immunity, reduce your stress levels. And just in general, reducing stress levels is also very, very beneficial during the COVID-19 virus or the pandemic that the world is going through. Now, how do you practice this Pranayam? Before we get into that, if you want to learn the right way of breathing and just uh, increase your breathing capacity, you can definitely follow my deep breathing video, which is linked in the description below. Now, as stated in that video, as you inhale, you're going to let your stomach expand. And as you exhale, you're going to let your stomach fall in or contract. So definitely, if you're doing the other way of breathing, which is called the chest breathing, then I would highly highly recommend that you watch that video practice that and then come back to this video however if you are someone who's doing the stomach breathing where as you breathe in you let your stomach go out and as you breathe out you let your stomach go in then i would recommend that you can practice this video so if you want you can just pause the video for a second just check your pattern of breathing practice stomach out stomach in and then come back to this video now, what is Brahmari Pranayam? Brahmari Pranayam, as known in English, is the humming bee's breath. So, in simple terms, it is a breathing practice where as you breathe out, you make a humming sound like And as you breathe out and make this humming sound, uh, it is said that the vibrations that the humming sound creates helps heal the body. But at the same time, I feel as you're humming, the vibrations and the sound in general helps relax the body and helps remove any kind of thought or stress or tension that you're carrying from the day. Now, there are two ways in which you can practice this pranayam. Actually, three, but we'll cover the three one by one. So the first way is you're just going to simply let your hands rest on your lap, sitting cross-legged or however you feel comfortable sitting that way. And you're going to breathe in, let your stomach expand. And as you breathe out, you make a sound. The second way of practicing the pranayam is by just closing your ears. So you can place your hands on the ear lobe. So you know the small thing that sticks out. So you can place your hands there. Keeping your back straight, neck straight, just press on the earlobes to close your ears and then just breathe in. And as you breathe out, and the third way, which I feel is the most beneficial, and I would highly recommend you do it that way. Uh, is where you close the ear lobes and your eyes. Now, while you're doing this, it can be a little strenuous on the arms. So if you have any kind of neck pain or um, any kind of issues with your neck or shoulders, um, then you can avoid doing the third way altogether. Uh, and you can just continue with the first practice where you just let your hands rest on your thighs. But if you can, what you're going to do is use your thumbs this time to close your ear lobes and then use your fingers to close your eyes and slowly as you breathe in, let your stomach expand. Breathing out. And slowly release. 
So simple thing as you breathe in, you let your stomach expand. As you breathe out, you're going to make a humming sound. Mm. And uh, this, as you can see, will definitely help you calm your mind and your body down because as you're making your humming sound, especially if your ears and eyes are closed, you cannot get any thought while you're doing this pranayam. So if you start suffering from any kind of stress or anxiety of this pandemic, um, even if you don't have COVID, I would highly recommend that you should do it. And if you have contracted the virus, again, I would recommend to do it because this is really going to help calm down your mind and your body. So I've said that enough number of times. So we are going to practice the Brahmari Pranayam together. So you can take any comfortable position. You can sit cross-legged. You can sit with your legs straight out. Um, whatever comfortable position. You can sit on the chair also if it's difficult to sit on the floor. So just sit on the chair or on the floor, wherever you are. I just want you to straighten your back. And with your back straight, slowly close your eyes. Let your palms rest on your lap. And let them face up towards the ceiling. With your eyes closed, just become aware of your natural breath. Notice how your breath flows in and out. As you breathe in, let your stomach expand. Breathing out, stomach collapses. Inhale, stomach goes out. Exhale, stomach goes in. Now the next inhale, I want you to breathe to your complete capacity. capacity. So take a deep, deep, deep breath in. And a deep, deep breath out. And now, slowly, if you want, you can take your hands up and close your ear lobes with your thumbs and eyes with your hands. Or you can just place your hands on your lap. Whatever works for you, back straight. And we're going to chant this 11 times together. So before you close your ears, um, just ensure that you count 11 times on your own. Or you can stop when this video stops. So back straight, close your ear lobes now. Take a deep breath in. Mm. 
take a moment here. And slowly just release your hands and place them on your legs. Notice how you feel right now after chanting, after humming, after this pranayam. Take a moment here to thank yourself for taking this time out to do something for your mind and for your body. And thank your body for supporting you, for helping you function properly. Have absolute gratitude for this vessel that you live in. And with that, very, very slowly, I want you to rub your palms together. Generate some heat in your palms. And take your palms to your eyes. Open your eyes and your hands and very, very slowly release your hands. I hope you feel a little more relaxed and happy and hope you practice this at least um, one or two times a week, if possible, every day. And I'm sure you're going to see some beautiful results. Thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful day, evening, night, and namaste. Do like the video if you liked it, share it with somebody who needs it, and subscribe to our channel. See you next week.